All right, let's take a look at how to change the default apps in Windows 10. If you have multiple applications installed that do the same thing, Windows is going to default to using a particular app to accomplish a particular task. So for instance, if you click on a link in one app, that link will either open in Microsoft Edge or perhaps another internet browser that you have installed. You have full control over how these applications run and which one is the default. So for example, if you don't want to use Microsoft Edge to browse the internet and if you don't want that to be used when links are clicked, you can actually select a different internet browser. And this is how you do that. So what you want to do is go ahead and open the modern settings application, go to system, and then go to default apps. So right now you can see that Microsoft Edge is set as my web browser or my default app for opening links. So if I click on that, I have the option to use Internet Explorer for that purpose instead. If I add other browsers installed like Firefox or Google Chrome, I could use those instead as well. Now the same goes for different types of media, video, photos, music, even maps. So in this case, I have not only Windows Maps installed, but also Here Maps. So if I wanted to open addresses using Here Maps, if I like that better for some reason, I have that option. As well, if you have different apps that open emails and calendar appointments, you can choose the defaults for those as well. For more fine-grained control, you can go ahead and go into the search box and type default. And you're going to see here that you can access default programs. So this gives you just a little bit more fine-grained control over different types of media. So for example, if I wanted to have Groove Music open MP3s, but not other types of files, like maybe, maybe it's not very good at playing WAV files for some reason, I could choose a different application to open WAV files. That's it for default apps. Thanks for watching.